Anybody want any free mosquitoes? I got free mosquitoes. Like a free puppy. So this is day two for me fishing. I came out yesterday, I went out yesterday, fished the marsh area in Freeport with Mike, Texas Fishing Force. Mike's out here too. I think he ducked in, fought, tried to fish a little bit of the grass area, the grass line, a little bit of marsh that's out here. But he's out here as well, so I'm sure I'll link back up with him somewhere. But we fished yesterday. He landed a uh, he landed a flounder, and you know I had a few bites, got a few tails ripped off, got a lure chomped up a little bit, but nothing. Okay, so one of the things that I want to do today, I'm going to try to do is I want to try to put this rod and reel combos: Cast Keen, Sharky Three Reel. Speed Demon Casking Shaky Head 7 foot rod. I want to put these or try to put these on a red. That is my goal today. See if I can get these on a red and do a review for you. I've caught a nice trout with this rod, not with this reel, but with this rod. And I caught some nice flounder with this rod and reel combo. So I want to test it on a red. So we're going to see if we can get a red today gonna fish some of the flats area out here in the West Bay some of the things you want to look for when you are fishing the flats is you want to look for some slicks some water movement some of the tails that the fish leave behind especially on a day like today where it's cloudy you're not gonna get a whole lot of visual you're not gonna see a whole lot of stuff through the water the water clarity because it's not um, because it's not that bright of a day so we're going to try to cast uh, a little bit in the flat, see if I can catch a red or a trout. We're hoping for a red. So thanks for coming back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, let's see if we can catch me hooking up. All right, so we haven't got any bites today. Not really. I see a slick out here. So I'm going to come over here and see if I can. Uh, it's only about a couple feet of water. Let's see if I can find a trout in this slick. Oh, that was one. First hit of the day. That felt good. They're gonna short bite. I'm gonna put on a shorter one. So a lot of times when try to feeding, they'll they'll pop up this slick. Get it again. Cast through it and come. Cast over and come through it. Oh. Felt like another one. Some more fish. Yep, I smell them. There we go. That's a good one. It's red. Ooh! -hoo. I may be slot. Get in there. Ah, oh, nice. It might be slot. There's a slick right here. And another one right there. That was my third hit. Get the Ian Tail, the guy I'm fishing with. Let him know. <clears throat> if you can get another one. But yeah, I smell like dead fish, like bait being eaten. So like I said, the uh, trout will make the slick. Typically that's 
what I come across, but reds will make them too. So, typically trout, you smell like a, a watermelon, a watermelon smell, scent. In this case, as soon as I turned and got downwind of it, it just smelled like, uh, smelled like bait. So, that was awesome. Saltwater Assassin. Lime Truce is always good out here in West Bay for me. I've always had good success with it. I think it's going to be a little short. No? <laughs> My eyes have deceived me. He's 21 and a half. Almost 21 and three quarters. There we go. Wow, that was good. That wasn't coming out. This guy. Right here. Pretty red. Just a pretty red in these flats. We're about two feet of water. At least when I caught him, it was a couple feet. Oh. <clears throat> but yeah, just a nice red. Two spots on one side. Two, maybe almost a third one on the other. And let this guy go. That was without scent. I'm gonna put some scent on it, see if we can get a second bite somewhere. I don't know what this is, feels like grass maybe? Nope, it's a speck. Ugh. Whew, finally. <clears throat> Speckler on. I don't know where he's at. He might be. I oh, came right out. He's gonna be short. Let's check him. Curious. Yeah. About 14 inches. Just missed it. Another small one. Yep. Well, oh, nope. <laughs> Don't try that at home, kids. You're trying to get out through the drive. Uh, he's just looking at me. Look at him looking at me. He's looking at me thinking, dude, you suck. <laughs> so I get his mouth to open up. I think it's going to be like 13, maybe 14. Let's see here. Yep. 14 and a quarter. I'm gonna give this one to Mike. There, Mike. Oh. All right, so we have the TAC 40 here paired with the Bone Daddy. It is a seven foot rod. H2O Express TAC 40. It was great. It's pretty awesome. Now I am no pro at casting these bait casters. I am in my infant stage. <laughs> As you can see. Starting to get into some bait cast reels and let me tell you this one and the Ethos H2. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I caught it in time. H2 O Express reels. I have not been disappointed with them at all. Of course, I haven't been able to hook up to any fish with them either, but that, that will come in time. <laughs> All right. oh, that's a nice one. Woo! That's like a million cast. Got this guy. 
Nice bass. It was about maybe a pound. Maybe not quite two pounds, but it feels good. Nice big mouth. Got him on that Texas Frankenstein worm. He feels good though. Feels real good. Nice guy. Felt good. Pretty solid. Tac 40. H2O Express. Texas all water fishing lure. Texas Frankenstein. Got going back in. Let him get back in there. There he goes. Just exciting little guy. Million casts later. Well, we got one. Yeah. That felt good. That felt really good. So we spent six hours on the salt water. Came home to dial this reel in. TAC 40 reel. That I'll bring the camera with me. Thought I would bring the camera with me. Just in case I caught a little green back. And I did. It was awesome. It felt good. Got the adrenaline going. So yeah, we are Texas all water fishing. From the salt to the ponds to the fresh water. Just love fishing. Just love hooking up. And just love bringing all you guys along with me.